folks, it's me, Hannah. Hey, um, clothing. So in this video, I want to talk about clothing, uh, not necessarily in a fashion sense, but uh, more in a transgender transitioning sense from one gender to another. Um, this video is based on my own male to female uh, transitioning, but if you're a female to male transgender, I think you can relate to the things that I'm talking about in this video, especially if you're like corporate casual um, kind of dresser. Ask me like suggestions um, in the comments. Yep, because I used to be like when I was a guy, I was like 100% guy, right? Guy, guy, a stereotypical like guy, guy. So yeah, I might be able to like uh, tell you a few pointers on on how to dress um, as a guy. Yep. Okay, so clothing. Um, we like to wear clothes. I'm assuming that you like to wear clothes as well. Um, if you are a nudist, then this video might not apply to you. So anyways, We dress according to our needs, right? Right. Um, sometimes, you know, we dress to present, or uh, sometimes we dress to work. Um, sometimes we dress to for health reasons, uh, for comfort. So. Yeah, there are many, many reasons to dress. Uh, those were just a few reasons uh, for dressing. In our societies um, all over the world, men and women have different ways of dressing. They're different, but are they really different, right? Right. It basically comes down to the needs. So, if you're transitioning from being a male to being a female, and you're planning to transition your clothing also from male clothing to female clothing, well, the good news is you probably don't have to go and get like all this fancy clothing that you see on like supermodels, you know, uh, and, and um, wear all like decked out in drag in order to conduct yourself as a woman. Dressing up as a woman is not that much different from dressing up as a man. If as a man, like for example, uh, in my case, I'm an engineer, so I'm in the business professional uh, group, right? And engineers, our casual outfit uh, is generally like leather shoes. Well, um, doesn't have to be genuine leather, but leather shoes, jeans, some shirt or some like presentable top and a jacket right right so if you're a guy and you're an engineer you're probably going to wear like leather shoes like these my old um guy shoes over 10 years old 
10 jeans and probably a polo shirt or if you like wearing shirts uh, you probably wear a shirt and or if you like to wear like Simon Cowell you, know, you probably wear like long sleeve tees and a jacket but as a woman well guess what leather shoes jeans a top I I used to like to wear shirts a lot so in with blouses you know I like to wear like I'm not really much of a polo shirt kind of person um, so I like 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 fabric so like loose fabric so a blouse and I have jackets that makes things a lot simpler, doesn't it? I mean, there's not much difference, right? Right? So, yeah. So, okay, uh, let's dive into it a little bit deeper. As a guy, I used to wear an undershirt. Well, as a girl, I have bra. As a guy, I used to wear underwear. Uh, if you're one of those, um, you know, um, if you, if you're one of those guys, you know, who like to go commando, you know, underneath your pants, then I guess you could adapt um, your situation accordingly. I don't want to know. So anyways, um, for pants, I used to wear shorts um, at home. So as a girl, I bought, I'm going to show you an example. I know these are kind of tight, but you know, a little bit sexiness, you know, um, might as well enjoy the transition. Yeah, they, they're very comfortable and they're also very practical and maneuverable. Yeah. And I also took advantage of my girly situation and bought me a little skirt. So if you liked wearing like shorts or as a guy, then you might also enjoy wearing short skirts and shorts as a girl or as a woman. I also like wearing long uh, loose pants and loose clothing as a guy. And I had one of those uh, longies, you know, um, it's like a, like a very loose kind of cotton wrap. I got me a maxi skirt. I love maxi skirts, they're just so comfortable. And they're like, oh, so nice. And of course, you know, I have jeans. I also have some like casual pants that's like borderline between jeans and slacks. I also have slacks that's not jeans. What else? What else? Socks. Well, women wear socks too. So instead of guy socks, you know, I bought me these socks. I didn't really have to change socks. I wore my guy socks for quite some time. 
until it's like they got old eventually and when it came time to replace the socks I just replaced them with the um, the girly socks socks so yeah it's not like something that you know I had to go out and spend extra money you know getting all these like um, uh, female versions of the attires or anything you know it's it's just uh, a few basic things like um, whatever you normally wear as a guy you can kind of find like equivalents as a girl as a woman that could be a decent start uh, in the transitioning process right right additionally you know as a woman I also bought me some business skirts, knee length. Jacket wise, oh, it really depends on your situation. If as a guy you had like um, a jacket for a dinner out, uh, then as a woman, you know, you might want to also consider uh, getting a jacket for dinner out. Get the drift. So yeah, pretty simple. So shoes, shoes, if we're talking about like walking shoes or running shoes, um, this is a pair of my Sockney uh, running shoes. I compared these to like the guy running shoes. A uh, guy version of these Hockney running shoes, and I didn't see any like substantial differences other than the coloring. So I suppose you could keep the guy shoes if you're wearing them as a woman. Yep. For leather shoes, it's a little bit different. Um, I like to wear like leather shoes as a guy. So. Um, and I was a big fan of Dr. Martin's shoes. So I had a pair of Oxfords. These, you know, for like a little more polished, you know, dressing occasions. Um, as a girl, I got me Dr. Martin's. When I was a guy, when I saw these, I wanted them so bad, but I couldn't really wear them because they were women's. Now I have them. These shoes, when I was planning to come out full time like before I came out I figured I could start with shoes so I bought these shoes at my local shoe store and I kind of thought that I could get away with wearing these you know under like um, a pair of slacks and stuff so um so i bought the shoes um during my travels one day i was wearing these and i stopped on the way uh, at a local starbucks um as i stepped out of the car i realized that these were too obvious that they were women's shoes. So I quickly changed the shoes because I was still like a guy back then. So I quickly changed the shoes to the backup shoes that I was carrying in the car, um, guy shoes. I kind of learned my lesson there, but I liked these shoes a lot. And so I kept them um, and these shoes, they were amazing. 
when I transitioned, I was able to wear them, you know, uh, at work. I was also able to wear them when I went shopping, when I went to visit the, the beach, uh, the local pier, uh, even during my travels um, on the airplane. Um, a little zipper here uh, made it so convenient, like especially at like security checkpoints and stuff. I could just go zip and I could take off the shoes. So, okay, but with these shoes, it's a little bit tricky to wear with like long pants. Um, I could wear these with long skirts like the maxi skirt um and it it's really nice it looks really nice but with like jeans and stuff it's not tricky because of the um okay like the the, the size you know of the neck here um i couldn't resist these shoes when i saw them at at a journeys um at a local mall. These are really pretty, right? These are really cute. Um, yeah, the, um, the, the heels, they're about the same as the Dr. Martens, and which is what I like. Um, I like tall heels, like I need them, right? But it's, it just makes me feel like it's so comfortable. Um, yeah, and the bottom is quite aggressive, um, so I could wear them in lieu of the Dr. Martens. Um, so, yeah, if you like leather shoes like me, you know, you might want to consider getting yourself a pair of something like these. Uh, the brand is Mia. There. Yeah, so, yep. Then, of course, you know, there's the um, business uh, environment, or a little more dressed up occasions. I got these pumps. Yep. Shiny. I, um, I like black shoes because I don't need to like um, worry about color coordination, you know, with the shoes and stuff. These, so these I bought like back in about 2012, 2011, uh, sometime back then, and they were so pretty, um, I just couldn't resist buying them, although I was still like a guy guy back then well secretly uh, dressing up as a girl inside my apartment i really really love these shoes um the heels you know about the same but a little bit taller about half an inch taller so yeah these i got from ebay um, they were new and they were in an excellent condition when I got them. I still love these shoes. Um, so yeah, one of these days I probably wear them um, to like a dinner, dinner out or something. But I just haven't found uh, the right occasion to wear them. And I don't want to just wear them you know, to just any occasion because I like these shoes a lot. Yep. Yeah, so uh, dressing wise, shoes wise, it's not too bad, right? It's not too complicated. Later.